weird ass transformer went out in Manhattan last night around 9 p.m. The old skies turned blue. People were running the streets saying, What the fuck? Alien invasion? Nah, I think God had something to do with that. <laughs> Wonder what's up next. Maybe an earthquake? Maybe some fire? No one seems to give a shit about anything that I say. <laughs> now, I want to talk about Michael and the angels for, uh, in Revelation 12. You know, I struggled with this for a while because it takes up like half the fucking chapter. You know what? That shit really went down. And it probably has something to do with when my father decided, you know, as a oil man or whatever with wife and two kids, you know, there's something to this whole fucking uh, arc thing <laughs> or whatever the fuck he came up with. So uh, my guess is the battle of Michael and the angels happened in his fucking head. Mm hmm. Instead of some religious dude, like, you know, coming up with some bullshit theory, a genius level man actually solved <laughs> for he either figured the Ark of the Covenant, where that was, or maybe he was just realizing that like there's something to this whole God thing when he had a wife and kids. And instead of doubting his way out of it, listening to his wife, he's like, you know, I'm going to stick with this. So it led to the torpedoing of his uh, marriage and his family. And in retrospect, good job, Dad. <laughs> Seriously. Uh, and whatever happened in your head, whatever battle went down, that's basically the beginning of the end for uh, this man-made God, you know, godless system. And uh, now that the lion's here, uh, I'm going to put the fucking finishing touches on that motherfucker because I definitely believe. You believed enough to post a bunch of shit online claiming that the Ark was under the uh, heel stone? Well, I believe a shitload more than you ever will be able to ever no offense to you, you just don't know because you haven't interacted directly with God. Um, and I have, and nothing's going to uh, to ever change that. So, it's locked in my fucking mind. You couldn't stop this fucking train if you wanted to. So whatever happened in your mind, whatever led to that event, that was definitely the Michael and the Angels battle. And uh, it leads me to believe that the um, heaven... Heaven's just a psychological frame of mind. And the idea is to bring that frame of mind to every single human being on earth in one shot. Here's the thing. It's going to get real fucking messy starting January 19th. I don't know what's going to happen, but it ain't going to be good. Uh, let's see. So that means that you, because you emailed Donald Trump on January 20th, 2017, at the beginning of this 42-month period, that makes you a prophet. Probably one of the ones that's mentioned in Revelation 10, the two witnesses. These two witnesses die. They're murdered at the end of this 42-month period, but they get their rewards afterward. You may say, well, how's that possible? Uh, if Why would they be murdered in the first place? Because they prophesied for 42 months. They basically, uh, what's the word, uh, heckle mankind as the entire system becomes jeopardized as to climate change related natural disasters as well as well as war and famine they get out of fucking control and these two uh, witnesses or prophets they are saying yep um, uh, you're one of them <laughs> uh, and uh, they're basically ushering in and rooting for Armageddon um, you've already started to do that a little bit and you're email to Trump and whoever else on January 20th. That was your first prophecy saying the arcs under the, uh, the, the heel stone. Now me on January 20th, I'm like, well, what was I doing? Oh, that's right. I think we took a little trip. Yep. And I told you if you died, I wouldn't care. Not that I want you to die, but if you died, I wouldn't care. And apparently that was me prophesizing the same thing because both of these two witnesses, they get murdered. But at the end, after three and a half days, they're apparently resurrected. And when they are, everyone freaks the fuck out and they get scared. And then it's kingdom of God time. So, both witnesses get what they want, but they have to die in order to get it. So knowing that, going into it, the witnesses wouldn't care if the other or either of them die. So I guess that was me prophesizing too. That makes me the man-child from uh, Revelation 12. The one who got caught up to God after he was born. You know, how Jesus never fucking died as a baby. Yeah, your son did. Not sure how you missed this one, but 
you're gonna get exactly what you fucking wanted. Mm -hmm. We're gonna get that ark out of the uh, out of the ground, because James, you probably don't know this, but it means to seize the heel, to seize at the heel. I'm gonna get that fucking heel to go whoop, and it's uh and it's gonna be your legacy fulfilled. Maybe that's sort of apology for saying I don't care if you die, but let's cut the bullshit. Whatever came back <laughs> when I uh, when I drowned, my mom she'll say this too. I learned it from her. She's like, you were different after that. And it makes sense because <laughs> uh, no one ever fucking told me what to do. I always acted like an orphan. And the man child mentioned in Revelation 12, he, they use the term, or it's a Greek word, technon, to describe this kid. Jesus, uh, by the way, Jesus wasn't God. He was just a human being who figured out that full confessions made public to advocate God's existence. They uh, eradicate all illness. <laughs> So you little Jesus is God bit. You need to drop that shit right now. He was a human being, but we're about to get supernatural, motherfucker. <laughs> anyway, they use uh, the word tecton to describe this man child. Well, Jesus was only used, uh, Jesus was always called huios, H-U-I-O-S, huios uh, in the New Testament, which means like the good kid, the kid who always does shit right, you know, doesn't disobey. Except uh, one time they called Jesus using tecton. Uh, which means basically the black sheep, son of a bitch, the one who never listens to his parents. And Jesus got called Tecton in the uh, in the synagogue when his parents, Mary and Joseph, they were in the caravan, realized, where's Jesus? And uh, they said, they had went back, looked for him, finally found him in the synagogue. And they're like, Jesus, what are you doing here? He's like, I'm with my father. What's the big deal? They used Tecton to describe his ass then. Well, this man child from Revelation 12, he's all Tecton. <laughs> now, that ain't Jesus. <laughs> And I, I want I to say that you probably know some, some kid who died after he was born at some point. Who was a son of a bitch to his parents, disobeyed him the whole fucking time, never listened to a goddamn word they said, acted like an orphan, and consistently disrespected him. That's Tecton. I'm all Tecton, baby. <laughs> anyway, we're getting your fucking arc. I don't want to hear any bullshit. What we need to do is you and I are going to go online as the father-son fucking duo to restore the line of David. Everyone will laugh, but every time we come out and say, well, yeah, what about this fucking natural test that's going to hit? We're going to browbeat them into it. We'll get a bunch of views. It'll all go viral. People are like, these guys are insane. As, because it's ordained by God, written in the Bible, everything has been in history leading to this moment in time. Where it says in Revelation, there's a 42 month period. The clock started January 20th, 2017. Sorry to break the news to you, but Donald Trump is the uh, he's the villain character. Him and Jerry Kushner, indisputable. Jerry Kushner's Fifth Avenue address is 666 Fifth Avenue. Donald Trump, feet of a bear means he bone spurs. He flat bears have flat feet. They get flat footed people get dinged for uh, military service. He claimed bone spurs to get out serving in Vietnam. I can go phrase by phrase for through each. Uh, each of those clowns, but here's the deal. They're gonna kill us. <laughs> At first of all, it'll be funny, these two crazy guys, whatever, but as time passes, the El Nino effect kicks in, war, natural disaster, all, all the things, everything's gonna go wrong because Revelation 12 describes you, me, John, and mom, and because Revelation 10 is describing, uh, you know, these two witnesses in the plan, okay? where we get killed at the end, but then we get our rewards, you get the Ark of the Covenant, and I get my fucking girl back, <laughs> hopefully. Um, because all that's true, that means the whole fucking Revelation chapter is true, okay? And whatever belief you had in the fucking Ark of the Covenant being under the fucking heel stone, or whenever the fuck you came up with that, or when you thought you were Jesus back when you were married to my mom and uh, had me and John, that belief, you believed so much that... When I died, that was God giving you the fucking hookup, saying, okay, here you go. You want to fucking play this game? <laughs> you believe? And then, coincidentally, I died. Whatever fucking came back wasn't your son. And I, I know my name's James, and I'm the same fucking guy you've always met. But that guy, whatever, whatever I was at nine months, whatever came back, the spirit was different. Mom even said it. She's like... You, know, you acted different after that. When you coughed up the water, even you spoke your first word. It was weird. You should have brain damage after eight months. You said mama, and then you seemed different after that. She's like, I never told anyone that before. Yeah, you want to know why? Because whatever fucking came back was different. But my point is, that means 
the, the, the entire Book of Revelation tracks. It was a once in a 10,000 year uh, celestial alignment. It happens on the same day that I make the bunk up credits for a movie that turned into a to attempt to prove the existence of God. There's no way. And I had no fucking clue about any of this God bullshit. I always thought you were fucking crazy when it came to uh, the Ark and shit like that. But it turns out you were spot the fuck on and you're going to get exactly what you want. But you're not the Messiah. You're not the Mashiach because it's not a big deal. Not the Mashiach because you, your father, isn't a direct descendant of King David. That's very important with the Jews. The guys, the, the, the Mashiach, his dad has to be a direct descendant of King David through his dad's side. Your dad's from Germany. My dad is a direct descendant of King David. <laughs> so that's it, man. That's the plan. Whenever you want to do it, let's do it. Otherwise, I don't want to fucking think about this anymore. But this is, you got us into this shit. And you're going to help me get us out of it. I'll get your arc. You're going to help me get the girl back. And it's time to fucking rock and roll. What I need from you is just a place to stay where we can openly claim this publicly. Because I can't do that shit from here. I don't need food. I don't need fucking money. I don't need any of that shit. I just need a place to stay where no one fucking bothers me. I can smoke freely outside. <laughs> if you can do that, I can help you get the fucking arc back. Otherwise, I don't fucking know. But one last thing I want to leave you with is it's supposed to be a 42-month period. Uh... When this Antichrist figures and it just means he's the bad guy, i.e. he's not going to budge on climate change and the whole world's going to fucking collapse because of it, okay? It's going to come up quickly, right? But um, the point is that started January 20, 2020 and God's real fucking specific about dates and times. That ends uh, July 20th, 2020, okay? 42 month period, all right? It says there's five months where these 200 million riders, they're basically got... It's people causing anxiety in people's minds, all right? There's 200 million people who are going to basically be saying, these two guys are insane, don't listen to them, blah, blah, blah. And we're going to be like, nope, we're the fucking guys, you know? Like, this is it, time to fucking go. And they're going to be like, I don't know what to do. Like, they fit all the prophetic requirements, but uh, it's weird. And they're going to freak the fuck out. There's a five-month period of that where people, they have this anxiety, they wish to die, but death escapes them, okay? Uh... And then there's a 13-month period where one-third of humanity dies, okay? <laughs> and then after that, when we get murdered, then when we come back, uh, God brings down fire. Whatever the fuck he's going to do, who knows? It's going to be awesome. But the rest of humanity dies who don't upload full confessions <laughs> to the internet. I've already done it. So have 32 other people. It cures all illness. When you do it, you upload like a full confession, you're going to see your health goes from whatever it's at now. Like if you have a smoker's like cough or whatever, that shit's gone. You're, you're gonna be able to breathe again. You can prove this right now. Um, but my point is that the five month clock starts January 19th, 2019. That's if like fucking 20 days or whatever. I've, you know, 20 days from when I film this. I don't know when I'm gonna send it to you. But then uh, that ends June 19th, 2019. And then the 13 month clock, I assume, was the fucking heat waves. And we're sitting there being like, yeah, it's the end of the fucking world. They're like, you're crazy. And then boom, people start dying. Yeah. Okay. Then that clock is June 19, 2019 to July 20, 2020. All right. That's the grand finale kind of thing. Um, but something's going to happen on January 19th. I don't know what it is. Either you and I hook up and then we have this shit go viral. Maybe that could be the big thing. Or maybe it's just like God does like some fucking. You know, I don't know what the fuck. We're talking like day of the Lord shit. <laughs> like whatever the fuck that means. Because that five month period where no one dies but they have anxiety is exclusive, mutually exclusive from the 13 month period where one third of humanity dies. You see? So those are two separate periods. That's a total of 18 months. You backtrack from July 20th, 2020. 18 months is January 19th, 2019. It's fucking December 28th. We're talking like three weeks, man. <laughs> so anyway, I just want to share that shit with you. I know it's a lot. But this is the real deal, <laughs> okay? So there's no other explanation for it. Your belief that the fucking Ark was under the heel stone. You torpedoed your fucking family and marriage. I'm glad you did, by the way. I don't give a shit. Again, like, I don't give a fuck. I did when I was younger, but I really don't fucking care. The only issue I take with you is that you're closed-minded. You, you don't have a cope open fucking mind. It's always pissed me off. It's like, you're away or whatever. Well, fuck that. Okay, so we can come at this like peers, colleagues or whatever, which I don't fucking, I don't, you know, I prefer to do this alone, but I figure I should let you know because it's going to be awesome. 
It's like kind of like the gift of a lifetime. Um, but anyway, so you keep a fucking open mind. If you upload a full confession using your Ten Commandments, right? The whole thing you're trying to find. Yeah, they actually have a purpose aside from fucking finding the physical thing. You use those benchmarked uh, against your, you know, confession or whatever. Use Exodus 20 verses 1 through 17. You upload a full confession. Your health is going to be perfect. You're going to be like, how the fuck did that work? It's God. We're getting supernatural. This is how Jesus healed people. He was not God. He was just a dude who figured out that this shit works. It's time to fucking rock and roll. Happy New Year.